Hi friends, uh, I am P. Ramesh from St. Peter's Engineering College, Department of uh, Electronics and Communication Engineering. Today I am here to explain analog and digital electronic subject for a second year information technology branch first semester subject code ES301 CS301 ES this is the subject code so in this video lecture I'm going to explain you the basics of uh, analog and uh, digital electronics basics of uh, analog and digital electronics so this subject gives the more basics of uh, electronic analog and digital so first what is analog electronics and uh, what is uh, digital electronics so analog electronics means which deals the circuit with a continuous uh, um, bias voltage or continuous signal means for suppose a sign signal you can say continuous signal so so first what is electronics electronics means study the movement of charge carriers it may be holes or it may be electrons study the movement of charge carriers in a electronic circuits okay so how suppose we are making electronic circuit means by using electronic devices okay so electronic devices means what are those electronic devices means maybe suppose diode transistors uh, FET, BZT, field effect transistor or bipolar junction transistors, ICs, okay, integrated circuits, okay. In this, all the devices, all devices, uh, we are studying the characteristics by applying a continuous uh, voltage, continuous uh, signal, so that is called analog electronics, okay. So when you see the digital electronics, when you see the digital electronics, say digital means uh, ones and zeros, okay. Digital means we are representing, uh, we are giving a voltage, high voltage or low voltage, on, off, true, false, okay. So digital electronics, we are studying the, suppose, uh, the uh, movement of charge carriers in a digital circuit by using digital uh, uh, by by making suppose circuit by using the digital uh, devices okay maybe suppose the uh, logic gates maybe suppose uh, combinational circuits maybe suppose uh, sequential circuits okay by applying a uh, voltage high voltage or low voltage so we are studying the charge carriers in a uh, uh, digital circuits that is called uh, digital electronics okay so what is the importance of uh, uh, electronics in a daily life okay so in uh, today's generation uh, the world totally depends on the electronics okay so uh, without electronics we cannot make the communication uh, we cannot suppose uh, uh, design the circuit any kind of circuits okay it may be electrical circuits or it may be uh, mechanical circuits so we should uh, use the electronic components okay so what is the importance of uh, uh, electronics to learn the suppose uh, uh, information technology branch students means for suppose if you want to make the any digital switches digital switches if you want to make so you should know the uh, logic uh, uh, logics for uh, uh, digital circuits okay so for suppose uh, uh, gates if you want to suppose uh, implement the gate so you should know the logic okay so uh, if you want to suppose uh, write any any coding okay you should know the um, this uh, digital functions of a particular uh, circuit combination circuits or sequential circuits 
may be suppose uh, a logic circuits okay so that is the important uh, uh, for uh, information technology student for uh, everyone that's why this uh, subject uh, uh, included in your uh, um, program uh, included in your uh, course okay not program uh, included in your uh, course okay so this is the introduction about uh, analog and uh, digital electronics okay so in this subject in this subject um, totally five units uh, there totally five units there so first unit is diode and applications and second unit uh, bz is bipolar junction transistor and uh, third unit third unit uh, fets field effect transistors and uh, digital circuits uh, fourth unit combination logic circuits and uh, fifth unit sequential uh, logic circuits so if you see the first uh, three units first three units comes in analog electronics and the remaining uh, two units fourth and fifth units uh, comes under uh, digital electronics digital electronics so uh, diode and applications first uh, what is diode that, that is uh, um, we discuss in suppose uh, uh, first unit and uh, after that uh, we are uh, we 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 will see the applications of uh, diode okay then uh, second unit uh, bzt bipolar junction transistor bipolar junction transistor so what is the advantage uh, in a uh, diode and what are the disadvantage in diode to overcome that we are going for uh, bzt's so bzt is uh, having some special uh, functions um, and uh, compared to bzt fet so bzt having some drawbacks to overcome that we are going for a, a fets field effect transistors and uh, digital circuits after that uh, we'll go for uh, suppose uh, uh, digital electronics combinational uh, logic circuits and uh, sequential uh, logic circuits okay combination logic circuits means uh, multiplexers uh, demultiplexers encoding decoding comparators this all are uh, comes in suppose uh, combinational circuits sequential circuits sequential logic circuits uh, means flip flops uh, registers flip flops uh, registers and uh, memories okay so this all uh, comes in uh, sequential circuits counters counters also comes in uh, sequential circuits so first uh, let's see the uh, diode first unit uh, diode and uh, applications diode and uh, applications so these are the textbooks you can refer uh, integrated uh, electronics analog and digital circuits and uh, systems 2 by e jacob milliman uh, charters hawkes and uh, chetandi uh, work is this all are the uh, reference books textbooks you can you can re refer so diode and applications diode and uh, applications first what is diode and what is the use of diode and uh, how they suppose uh, uh, function of uh, uh, this particular device this is a basic device diode is a basic device diode means uh, two electrodes it has two electrodes one is anode and another one is uh, cathode this device uh, made with uh, uh, combination of uh, um, n-type and p-type materials n-type and uh, p-type materials when you combine these two materials it form the junction that is called a uh, p-n junction diode p-n junction diode so what is p-type material and what is n-type material p-type material means uh, if you add the trivalent impurities to pure semiconductor it becomes the p-type material so p-type material having majority charge carriers holes and minority charge carriers uh, electrons p-type material uh, having acceptor ions so because we are adding uh, trivalent impurities okay so mm, mm, what is the n-type material 
what is the n type material n type material means if you add the pentavalent impurities to pure semiconductor pentavalent impurities to pure semiconductor it becomes the n type material so n type material majority charge carries electrons and minority charge carries uh, holes okay so uh, and also p type material contains the uh, donor ions donor ions so when you suppose a combined p type and n type material uh, some of the charge carriers uh, loosely connected charge carriers moves from the one region to another region in that situation in that situation um, establish the suppose a, a junction when once a junction established the, there is no further movement from the n region to p region and p region to n region charge carriers so the junctions offer the uh, some resistance that resistance voltage is 0.7 volts that is based on the material but suppose if you use silicon uh, material the junction uh, uh, offers the 0.7 voltage okay so when you apply ante that, that means when you apply the 0.7 volts bias voltage the charge carriers move from the one region to another region that means the current flows in the circuit through the diode okay so that is a uh, uh, silicon cutting voltage you can say or threshold voltage if you made the suppose a uh, diode by using this uh, material that is called a uh, for suppose uh, the device made with uh, germanium material so the junction voltage is uh, 0.3 volts okay so compared to silicon material germanium material having uh, uh, suppose uh, more leakage current more leakage current for suppose uh, it is made with uh, germanium material it having uh, cutting voltage 0.3 volts so compared to silicon material germanium material having uh, Uh, cutting voltage is less and it has uh, uh, leakage current more so this is a disadvantage in uh, germanium material uh, when you see the silicon material it is the cheapest material and uh, uh, it can suppose uh, bear more voltage at high temperature um, compared to this uh, germanium uh, high temperature uh, it will suppose uh, withstand withstand uh, some uh it leakage current uh, it will suppose produce the less leakage current